Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of Selenium WebDriver, I'm going to practically demonstrate how to implement fluent weight in Selenium. So let's get started. This fluent weight also belongs to the weighting mechanism and is also part of Selenium. In the previous session where I covered this weighting mechanism in detail, right? As part of Selenium, we have two smart weights. That is one is implicit weight, other is explicit weight. Under explicit weight, a normal weight is there, okay? Normal explicit weight is there that I have covered in the previous session. Now, the fluent weight is an advanced explicit weight, okay? Advanced version of the explicit weight is a fluent weight. Whatever I covered in the previous session as part of explicit weight is a normal explicit weight, okay? Which is generally used in real time, but the next, next category under this explicit weight, okay? Under explicit weight, we have a normal explicit weight and fluent explicit weight. The fluent explicit, uh, explicit weight is an advanced explicit weight, which is not used in real time, okay? Despite of being as advanced, it's not being used in real time because people don't want so much advanced, okay? Okay, for doing this weighting mechanism, why we have to go for so much advanced things like fluent weight, people think. That's why people generally don't use this fluent weight in real time. They use normal explicit weight in real time, okay? So you have to understand that. But we should have the knowledge. The fluent weight is an advanced version of the explicit weight and it's not used in real time, but still, we should have some knowledge of what exactly this is and how it is advanced when compared to the normal explicit weight, okay? So there is no, not much difference between the normal explicit weight and fluent weight because some extra things we have to pass, okay? The code is almost same as if you, if I show you the previous uh, session code where I implemented this explicit weight here, right? These two lines have written for explicit weight weight, okay? Uh, I have created an object for the web driver weight and pass it driver and 30, maximum time 30 I pass and uh, object reference is weight and using this object reference, I call this until and under that expected condition, visibility of element, everything is fine. These two lines we have to write as part of normal explicit weight, but how this uh, normal explicit weight uh, or how this fluent weight is different from this normal explicit weight, it's almost same like these two lines only we have to write, but some extra things we have to pass, okay? Here, we have to pass some extra things. What are those extra things? Just see here, okay? Apart from this driver and timeout, right? Maximum timeout is 30, right? Here I will mention time out is equal to 30. This is what I have to mention. In, in fluent weight, I have to mention timeout is equal to 30. Normal explicit weight, I don't have to mention this. Directly 30, I will mention. Here I have to mention timeout is equal to 30, which is already there in the ex, uh, normal explicit weight. And uh, other parameters are pole frequency. We have to mention one more thing that is pole frequency is equal to, if I give five seconds, what is the pole frequency I'm going to cover now, okay? Just uh, be with me. Let me add some extra parameter arguments here, okay? That uh, advanced fluent weight has, that is advanced explicit weight has, that is fluent weight has. So another one is ignored exceptions, okay? Apart from this time mode pole frequency, we have something known as ignored exceptions, okay? Let me write down that ignored exceptions is equal to. In fluent weight, we have to mention this attribute name for this uh, 30 thing, okay? Maximum time mode. And uh, apart, that's one difference between the normal explicit weight where, where attribute won't be there in fluent weight or advanced explicit weight, we have this attribute. Apart from that, we have this known, known as pole frequency. What is this pole frequency I'm going to cover? And other one is ignored exceptions. And here I need to provide the ignored exception. A list of exceptions I need to provide, okay? Whatever the list of exceptions you want to ignore, okay? That is, let's say no such element exception I'm providing here, okay? No such element exception I'm providing. So if in your case, you will get an exception here. So this statement may not be there by default. You get this kind of uh, error kind of thing over the mode and simply import it, okay? That, that will be resolved. So these are few extra things. Pole frequency, ignored exceptions is an extra thing. And apart from that, this attribute name is extra thing, okay? But this 30 was there earlier also in the normal explicit way. Now let's understand you also, uh, you already know what is a uh, timeout, maximum time. The fluent weight has to wait for the element to be displayed. Even though fluent weight is also an advanced explicit weight, it's still smart. Like normal explicit weight, it is also smart. So even though you provide 30 seconds as a maximum time, fluent weight will not wait if the element comes before 30 seconds, okay? Whatever the time the element comes, so it will directly perform the operations like normal selenium weights like implicit or explicit weight. The smart mechanism is still there, okay? It is a maximum time only, up to which the selenium can wait uh, if there's still problem, okay? Then next one is pole frequency. What is this pole frequency? I'll tell you. Just observe this, okay? So let me draw here. Let's say here, let's say. 
let me draw it properly. So let's say this uh, flip card option, let's assume that flip card option will take, uh, sometimes it will take zero seconds, sometimes, you know, three seconds, six seconds, five seconds kind of thing. Until maximum time, it may take up to 30 seconds, let's assume, okay? Maximum time is 30 seconds for the flip card option to be displayed on the page. So that's why you mentioned here, that's why you mentioned the timeout is equal to maximum 30 seconds because flip card may come, maybe coming before 30 seconds or maximum up to 30 seconds. So I have to give 30 seconds here, okay? Within 30 seconds, it is going to come, that's fine. Now, poll frequency is five means what means, you know, flip card option may come at any point of time here. So, but here Selenium will first check at zero seconds. Selenium will check for the flip card option at zero seconds. If the Selenium, uh, Selenium doesn't find flip card option here at zero seconds, if the flip card option has not come in that case, if you give the, if you give the poll frequency of five seconds after next five seconds, only after five seconds, only. Selenium will check. Okay. Even though flip cut option comes in three seconds, it doesn't matter. Okay. It will waste the two seconds here because you are telling Selenium. Okay. Uh, to check next time. If the flip cut option is not there again, wait for five seconds and check. You are not frequently checking here. Otherwise by default, Selenium will check for every half second by default, normal explicit weight or whatever it is. Right. So there Selenium will keep on checking for every half second. Default wait time of Selenium is half second. Okay. As part of waiting mechanism, if it has to wait, Selenium has to wait, right? For every half second, default polling time is there, but you are updating this polling time with the help of advanced waiting mechanism in Selenium. That is fluent wait, where you are ch changing that half second to five seconds. That means if at zero seconds, flip cut option is not there. Next, it will check for flip cut option after five seconds, but flip cut op option already came at three seconds, extra two seconds. It will wait and it will perform the operation. Okay, it will check. So if the flip card option doesn't come even this second, next uh, time interval is after 10 seconds, Selenium will come and check whether the flip card option has come or not. Instead of checking for every half second, we are changing that to 10 seconds, uh, then 15 seconds, then 20 seconds, then 25 seconds, then 30 seconds. Like this is what is the polling time. Okay. If you want to alter that default polling frequency time where half second is by default, right? Okay. Now Selenium is going to check for every five seconds is going to check. Okay. In five seconds interval is going to check even though the option comes before or after doesn't matter for every five seconds going to check by the time the uh, element or option came in it will perform the operation now one more thing is this is not much important the main thing about the advanced uh, uh, explicit waiting mechanism that is fluent weight is this polling frequency only updating the customizing the polling frequency is the main thing okay if you understand that that's fine still remaining everything is working work will work fine ignored exception means if any exception, if there is a possibility of getting an exception, whether this flip card option is not coming means instead of getting no such element exception, it will ignore the no such element exception. It will give you another exception. That's it. It's of no, not much use, but uh, you know, it's there. Okay. Fine. So this is very important that you have to focus more. So let's run this script and see what will happen. Despite of getting that flip card option after, uh, after three seconds only, it will wait for extra two seconds because polling time is five seconds at zero seconds. Flip card option will not come. In this example, so it will click on the drop down button. Did it click on that? I don't think it has clicked on the drop down button here. I just gave this ABC guys. Okay, let me remove that ABC. Here implicit weight is 10, so it's was waiting for that. Let me run it again. This time the proper locator is there, so it's there's no problem here. And also let's do one thing. Let's uh, stop this and uh, just to avoid the confusion, I'm removing the implicit weight also. Only fluent weight I'll put. Advanced explicit way I'm putting. Okay, run the script. Just see here what's going to happen. First, it will click on the flip card uh, that uh, button, drop down button. After clicking on the drop down button, flip card option will come. Immediately, it's not clicking. Waiting for two seconds and clicking. You see, waiting for two extra seconds and clicking because polling time is five seconds. But flip card option came in three seconds. After zero, you only perform operation after five seconds. So guys understood what exactly is fluent weight and the practical demonstration I have performed in this session. So that's all for this session. We'll continue the waiting mechanism topics. Apart from fluent weight, there are many other uh, topics on this waiting mechanism that I want to cover as an additional topics uh, that I'm going to cover in the upcoming sessions. So that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye-bye.